All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. So the, the boat's doing good. It's got a couple more weeks of work left getting the, the bottom paint done, the prop speed, and the thrusters fixed. Um, but one thing that we were not able to check off the list this year with the haul out was getting the generator fixed. Um, and as you can see behind me, we have pulled it out of the boat and brought it home to work on. One thing to keep in mind with these generators, and um, we're pretty sure this is what caused the issue with this one. Whenever we purchased the boat, it was inoperable. And we we think our worst fears have come to be realized that um, this generator has ingested water into the forward cylinder. So one thing to note on these, this is a Kohler 7.3E. It's a gas generator. Um, you have to be very careful with the starting procedure. Um, if you crank the first time and it doesn't start, you have to close your seacock. Um, what can happen on these is if you continue to crank time after time, I think 10 seconds is really all they recommend with the first crank. And if it doesn't start after that, it can actually back up water through the exhaust and into the aft cylinder, I'm, I'm sorry, the forward cylinder. Um, and that's what we're pretty sure has happened here. We've got good compression on the aft, but zero compression on the forward. And after looking um, into the, the the cylinder with the bore scope, um, we can see quite a bit of corrosion. So um, we're gonna we got it home. We're gonna tear it down and uh, see how bad the damage is, and see if we can't get this back up and running again. All right, so we have gotten all the way down to the heads and have the forward head off, and we have found the culprit. Um, I noticed whenever I took the valve cover off that the rocker, or the I guess the push rod, was no longer seated on the exhaust valve rocker, and that indicated a stuck valve, and sure enough, it is stuck open, so that explains the no compression and why it would not run and you can see that the exhaust certainly has had some water ingestion um, back on top of the cylinder the piston and it sees the exhaust valve here um, luckily some of this stuff it it seems like it's got some oil mixed in i don't know um, so we'll see if this can be cleaned up or if the head just needs to be replaced and uh, we'll do the same for the, the piston, see how that looks once we clean all the gunk out. And, um, and yeah, we'll start getting ready to rebuild and see if just maybe with a couple new parts, we can get compression back in this cylinder. Um, we'll probably end up replacing the exhaust. I don't know, maybe try to clean this or, or just replace this whole piece here since we know there's a lot of water here that, that shouldn't have been there. Um, We'll take a look at that and uh, keep you guys posted. All right, last update for this video. Um, yep, the piston is definitely damaged. So the tear down will continue. Um, have to replace the piston. At this point, we'll probably take off the other head for the aft cylinder too. If we're gonna go this deep, um, might as well make sure that we get both sides before we put it all back together. Um, so yeah, going to be a little bit more than we anticipated. That might get a little bit lucky there, but, um, yeah, new pistons definitely in store. All right, guys, have a good one. We'll see you next time.